Hey guys, I've got a really exciting announcement to share with you and by the video title you probably have already guessed what that is and that is that I'm going to be doing videos and photos full time. Yes, it's true. Don't read the disclaimer though. Just ignore that. Let's just stay focused on the fact that I'm going to be full time. For me, this photography stuff and creating content all about it is pretty much where my mind goes when I don't have anything else to think about. And so when my full time job instituted a reward for five years employment in the form of one month long sabbatical, in addition to our regular healthy vacation policy, I knew immediately what I was going to be doing. And it's funny when coworkers ask me about my plans, so many of them go on dream vacations or accomplish bucket list adventures. But for me, the nerd that I am, I immediately pulled up my Trello board to do list that I use to manage all my YouTube projects. And I got giddy about about all the content I'd be able to create. So no, I won't be going anywhere super exotic. Danae and I took our family on our one big holiday trip to Hawaii for a week, and that's about the extent of my big travel plans. Not that I don't love travel, it's just difficult when you have a large family. For the next 30 days, I'll be focusing on just a few things though with those extra eight hours in each day. And the first is actually freeing up Danae to do some traveling of her own. She doesn't have a full-time employee who would give her a cool perk like that, like a whole month sabbatical. So I'm splitting mine with her. That means a lot of my time will be focused on managing the daddy daycare at home. Meanwhile, she's currently visiting some old friends and also working on a project or two of her own. In fact, if you are a family person, maybe you feel strongly about foster adoption or raising children who have disabilities, you may want to go check out Danae's new channel. Um, or if you just want to support her, definitely give her a follow. She's been posting some great content lately and I'm sure she'd appreciate your help as she tries to jumpstart things over there. But as for me, my other hopes are that I'll be able to just finally do more of what I haven't had time to do. And most of that relates to my small town documentary photography. For those of you who've watched the channel for a while, you know that my true love and passion when it comes to photography is documenting the decomposition of small town America. If you haven't watched it, this video will hopefully share the vision of what that type of photography means to me. So during the days, I'm gonna be headed out to nearby small towns and getting the type of photography that I find most exciting. And of course, I'll be tackling some gear reviews that I've had in the backlog for a while now. That includes reviews of all of these lenses here and uh, some exciting Fuji cameras that I've had for a while and haven't been able to finish reviews of. I've got some bags to review I'm really excited about. I'm going to be updating my black and white film guide and I also have the contents of this box. Something's very exciting in here. Um, but yeah, that should be enough to fill a month, I'd say. If not though, I also would love to spend some more time, uh, actually spend any time. I've, I haven't had a chance to even do more than power this on once. This is my full spectrum X-T1. So I wanna spend some time with it if I can. So, if any of that sounds exciting to you, please consider subscribing. The last thing I want to share with you, I guess the last thing I want, want to do is ask your opinion for your feedback. As a, the channel grows, we get more and more businesses reaching out wanting to do sponsor deals. And as someone who wishes he could do more of this on a full-time basis, like I mentioned, man, it's super tempting to accept those invitations. There's so much more we could do if we just had a little bit more influx of cash, like for instance, I'd love to dive deeper into the GFX system, maybe check on some of the cool stuff happening in other brands. Also just bring up more of our time to do editorial style shooting or other projects that take more upfront investment or travel. Having some additional dollars would help with those projects, but also the project we launched in 2019, the Do Good With Your Camera initiative, wasn't cheap, by the way, to run that. Um, but it's something that we feel strongly about. It just takes money. But would it be better if we just reintroduced our Patreon or other means for you to directly support the channel and held off on those direct monetary sponsorships? Not sure. Either way, though, the hope there is that you would benefit as well, not just us, from some of those monetization strategies. But I'll nail a survey here at the top. I'd love to know what you think. I'll also leave a pinned comment thread below for us to discuss. I'm extremely interested in hearing your opinions when it comes to us trying to monetize some things. And don't be afraid to be honest. I, I promise we won't be offended. But that's all for now. I look forward to having you along for some more adventures soon. But in the meantime, do some good with your cameras.
Bye-bye.